Kirby Smith, a Confederate general. Florida lawmakers voted last year to replace it, but they cannot agree on who that replacement should be. Mike Vasilinda has the story from the U.S. Capitol. Since 1922, Confederate General Edmund Kirby Smith has been one of two statues representing the state of Florida in the U.S. Capitol. Confederate General Kirby Smith was born in Florida, St. Augustine, but he never really lived there. Since she got to Congress in 2006, Representative Kathy Castor of Tampa has sought to have Smith's statue replaced. And then he fought against the United States, fought against the Union, and then fled the country after the Confederacy lost the Civil War. Smith has been moved from Statuary Hall to a meeting room in the Visitor Center basement. I, I hate to say that the United States Capitol has hidden one of Florida's statues because he simply doesn't rise to the level of a respected American or a great American or great Floridian. Last year, state lawmakers voted to ditch Smith. Congressman Matt Gates was one of 32 no votes. I think that the reason behind removing him is this sort of nuanced theory that Confederate history shouldn't matter anymore. It's not something that I subscribe to. And while state lawmakers voted more than a year ago to replace General Edmund Kirby Smith, they can't seem to agree on who should replace him. I was glad to see the number one vote getter in Florida uh, was Mary McLeod Bethune, the great civil rights educator and vis visionary who worked for four presidents, helped to integrate the Red Cross during World War I. For now, Smith remains virtually unnoticed in the Capitol meeting area, while the state's other representative, John Gorey, the inventor of air conditioning, is seen by thousands every day. Mike Vasilinda, WCTV Eyewitness News, Washington, D.C. Only nine of the 100 statues representing states in the Capitol are women. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, Publix founder George Jenkins, and Walt Disney are also in contention for Florida's honor.